First thing is conception, kind of like how you were brought to be with mom and dad. You got to concept the conceptualize the film. Um, for all the real film guys out there, I call y'all real with my ashy air quotation fingers because you're no realer than me. You know what I mean? Because you went somewhere and somebody told you something or whatever. Whatever. I'm accomplished. I've done what you're trying to do. So, um, and that's not being pompous. That's just being real. First thing that you want to do is think of something dope, right? Conceptual life. Second thing I would say, be the script. Like, write a script. Once you write the script, here's some tips for that. If you know you don't have any money, I'm not saying just write around your perceived budget all the way, but be realistic. If you know you don't have money for a helicopter, don't write the helicopter scene in there. Don't be stupid, don't do that. If you know your uncle owns a cafe, write a movie about a cafe. I mean, at least you can get in there on some days when he's not working hard. All of the stuff that I'm telling you, it's on YouTube, I'll send y'all the link. But this is not where I learned it. This I learned it in the street. I didn't learn it just by happenstance because the YouTube video wasn't even out yet. So let's get that straight. After you make a script, then I would say you would want to do a budget breakdown. In my opinion, that's what I would do. So let's let's go back. This is what I would do. I'm not telling you this is what you should do. This, this is what I would do. So I would make a budget breakdown. My co-producers and I, would sit down and we would go through the script page by page, line by line, and see what well, this costs this, this costs this, this costs this, this location costs this. Who actually call, go through permitting and see like, you know, if pyrotechnic, pyrotechnics are needed or anything like that. So to see what kind of money you're gonna need to even get started on the film. Then once you find out how much the film costs, then it's time to get some money. And that is interesting because you need a location. That's super, that's super important, right? But if you can't feed your actors, if you can't keep the lights on, if you can't do what it is that you need to do once you're on set, none of that makes any difference. So you gotta have some funds in order for the production to run. It's just what it is. People, even if you're not paying your actors and actresses, you gotta feed them. You gotta keep people comfortable. Because if not, then, you know, you're not gonna, they're not gonna be as faithful to the project. So, um, after we do the budget breakdown and we, you know, um, we come to terms with what our budget is gonna be and we're starting to look for money, then we'll do a casting call. And we'll find our lead actors and actresses and um, hopefully can lock them in. And um, that's basic pre-production stuff. You know, that's before you actually start to go and do the film. Then production starts, and that's when you have all of the tents and going from circus to set and making stuff uh, pretty and shiny out there for the actors and actresses to walk through. You shoot the film with whatever medium that you have, whether it's a big camera like the one that you know now, a DSLR, or you know, Ari Alexa, you know, whatever you choose. You shoot the film, and then you go through the editing process. And once you go through the editing process, that's a lot of coffee and a lot of whatever <laughs> other stuff that you need to get through that. Because I do all this stuff myself, ladies and gentlemen. And if I'm missing steps, y'all got to realize I've been up since like God knows what this morning and didn't really get much sleep. So yeah, um, but after that, after you edit it, what I would suggest doing is edit it again. And then after you edit it that second time, edit it again, and then you should be straight. And take that edit and then show it to some people called the focus group. Once they say, oh, this is all right, this is pretty cool or whatever, or they give you whatever you know notes they have on it, then edit it again. And then you might be all right. And then like you start to work on all the, all the post-production stuff, which is editing and all that. Um, then you start working on your marketing. What you guys don't know is that marketing is way more important than than damn near than the film. Okay, for instance, you've all seen a shit movie, right? Right. Okay. Well, you saw that because they had a dope ass trailer. So, marketing is extremely important. 
making sure that what you've uh, what you've shot can captivate the audience in a brief moment of time. Also, living in America, you're dealing with microwave brain people. I'm not dissing Americans. I'm American, so don't come in the comments or whatever the hell, whatever. But you you don't. You think this fast. You want everything in two damn seconds. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta catch your attention get you invested and then get you either to the theaters or get you to like press a button on your phone to download it or purchase it or whatever. That is not easy. Filmmakers, listen, I know you guys want to go to all the film festivals. That's great. That's great. Spend those dollars on your marketing budget. You might see some money there. I'm just saying, like, I know, I know I sound crazy, but how many of y'all really did? How many of y'all really got out there and your movie came out? Like, okay. So what I'm saying is, is that don't show your whole movie on YouTube. Stop doing that. I get it. I know you're trying to get out there. Stop giving your stuff away, dude. Please, because I like watching your stuff on YouTube, but I didn't pay for it. And we have to start paying for things. You pay for your shoes. You pay for your shirt. You did not walk into the store and steal your clothes. You didn't do that. You're a grown-ass man, okay? I didn't steal my clothes. But this, yeah, I did. These clothes came from the film, Life on the Line, starring John Travolta and Sharon Stone. I got it out of the trap. Ha, ha, ha. Anyway, so, yeah, stop giving your stuff away, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, set yourself up. Like, yeah, okay, if you got some stuff and you know you can just give it away, great, but don't put your whole movie on there because... You could have been making money off of it. Like capitalize. We live in a capitalist country, like a capitalist system. Capitalize on what you have. So yeah, so that's what I would do. I would pre-production, post-production. Pre-production is getting all your ideas together, get the script, all that stuff, great, boom. Production, acting, shooting, dates and time and craziness and flights. Last little bit is editing and quality control. Do not want to put out a shit movie with your name on it. Trust me, it makes the next movie harder to do. So, um, so yeah, that's my that's my spiel on what it takes to make a movie. I'm probably like wrong as hell in a lot of people's eyes, but it worked. And it's worked for me about like seven times. So I don't know. You know maybe I'm just speaking from experience.